Hello, in this video we have these interesting linear equations. We have x plus y equals 8 and we have x times y equals 8 as well. We are going to solve for the value of x and y. So what we can do is from equation 1, we can have it that y equals 8 minus x. Let this be our equation 3. So we are going to substitute this for y in this second equation. That means we are going to have x into, we have 8 minus x, and this equals 8. So let's expand this. We are going to have 8x minus x squared. This equals 8. So we can rearrange it. We are going to have negative x squared plus 8x, let's move this over, we have minus 8 and this equals 0. So let's multiply everything here by negative 1, we are going to have x squared minus 8x plus 8 and this equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this quadratic equation using the formula method. We have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and from this quadratic equation we have a equals 1 b equals negative 8 which is the coefficient of x here and c equals the constant here that is 8 so we are going to go ahead and insert these values for a b and c in this formula we are going to have x equals Negative b, we are going to have negative into negative 8 plus or minus the square root of b squared. We are going to have negative 8 power 2 minus 4 into 1 into 8. And everything here we have divided by 2, that is 2 times 1. So we have x equals, if you multiply this, you are going to have 8 plus or minus the square root of we have 64 that is negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8 we are going to have 32 divided by 2 so this will give us we are going to have 8 plus or minus 64 minus 32 is 32 we have square root of 32 divided by 2 so from here we can have x equals 8 plus or minus. We have square root of, we can express this 32 as the product of 16 times 2. And we have divided by 2. So this will give us 8 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4 root of 2. We have divided by 2. So we have x equals two solutions. Now we have 8 plus 4 root of 2 divided by 2 or 8 minus 4 root of 2 divided by 2. So this will give us x equals, if you cancel this and this, you have 4 here, you have 2 here, you have 4 plus 2 root of 2 or the same thing here. You have 4 minus 2 root of 2. So you have these two values for x. Now let's go ahead and solve for y. To solve for y, we have recall. Recall that we had, let me get us back there. We had this equation here, y equals 8 minus x. So let's take it down. Here, recall y equals 8 minus x. So let's start with this first solution. When x equals 4 plus 2 root of 2. So we are going to have y equals 8 minus 4 plus 2 root of 2. 
and we are going to have y equals 8. If you multiply everything out, you are going to have minus 4 minus 2 root of 2. From here, you have y equals 8 minus 4, you have 4 minus 2 root of 2. So, let this be our x1. When x1 equals 4 plus 2 root of 2, you have y1 equals 4 minus 2 root of 2. So, let's write our solution. So, therefore, we have x1, y1. So, that means this will give us x1 is... Let us get there. 4 plus 2 root of 2. 4 plus 2 root of 2. And y1 will be this one here. 4 minus 2 root of 2. Now let's solve for y2. Recall we had our x2 already. So the value of our x2 is this. 4 minus 2 root of 2. So let me write here. When x equals 4 minus 2 root of 2, this will be our x2. Then y2 will be, let's recall the pro equation, the same equation here, 8 minus x. You have 8 minus x, and this will be, y2 will be 8 minus what we have here, 4 minus 2 root of 2. So you have y2 equals 8 minus 4 plus 2 root of 2 and from here we have y2 equals 4 plus 2 root of 2 so when x2 is this y2 is 4 plus 2 root of 2 so let's complete our solution we have here x2 y2 so this will give us x2 is 4 minus 2 root of 2 and y2 is this 4 plus 2 root of 2. So these are the solutions for x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now we can go ahead and check if what we have solved is correct. You can use either x1, y1 or x2, y2 to check. You can use this to check or you can use any this one to check as well. So let's make use of this one. x1 is 4 plus 2 root of 2, y1 is 4 minus 2 root of 2. So in order to check, you recall the problem. We had x plus y equals 8 and we have x times y equals 8. So we are going to make use of x1, y1 and the answer is x1 is 4 plus 2 root of 2 y y1 is 4 minus 2 root of 2 so let's use this to check so we are going to have x plus y 4 plus 2 root of 2 plus y is this 4 minus 2 root of 2 is this equals to 8 yeah, because this will cancel this and we have 4 plus 4. That means we have 8 equals 8. That's correct. Now let's try the multiplication aspect. X times Y, we are still going to use the same thing. We have 4 plus 2 root of 2 times 4 minus 2 root of 2. So we simply multiply it out. This equals 8. 4 times 4, we have 16. 4 times negative 2 root of 2, we have negative 8 root of 2. 2 root of 2 times 4, we have plus 8 root of 2. And 2 root of 2 times this, we have negative 4. Then root of 2 times root of 2, we have 2. So we have 16, this definitely will cancel this, minus 4 times 2, we have 8, and we have 8 equals 8. So this has truly satisfied as well. 
So that is it for the video. These are the two answers. Thank you and goodbye.